Hello and welcome. This is Nasreen Sheikh and you're watching its tomorrow news. Tornado rips through the last leaving widespread damages and power outrages. Thousands of homes and businesses were without power in East Texas in US on Monday after severe storm near Dallas ripped off roofs and down power lines part of a violent storm system that also left four people dead in Oklahoma and Arkansas At least one tornado was confirmed to have touched down in northern Dallas on Sunday evening The National Weather Service said on Monday afternoon Texas governor issued a disaster declaration for 16 countries No deaths or serious injuries were reported in or near Dallas. The city said in a news release early Monday, fire rescue spokesman Jason Evans told the Associated Press though that three people were hospitalized with non-life-threatening injuries. In Arkansas, which also saw severe thunderstorms, at least one person was killed when a tree fell on a home in Rogers, about 150 miles northwest of Little Rock, according to the Benton County Department of Public Safety. Damage was also reported in Oklahoma and Missouri. Authorities say severe thunderstorms were responsible for the deaths of three people in eastern Oklahoma, two because of carbon monoxide poisoning and one from a fallen tree. The Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma said areas of Alabama, Louisiana, Mississippi and Tennessee could see severe thunder showers late Monday. Around Dallas as emergency crews assessed the extent of the storm power photos on social media showed that the twist damaged some buildings, breaking glass and downing trees. Most of the damage within Dallas appeared to be limited to the northwest. Nearly 1 lakh customers were without power as of 9 a.m. and about half got it restored by the evening according to Electric City Utility Encore. And Turgy with severe parts of Arkansas, Texas and Louisiana reported more than 7000 outages. Most had power by Monday evening according to the utilities outrage tracker. Three schools were closed indefinitely because of storm damage the last independent school district said that's all for now for more news updates stay tuned with us it's tomorrow news nasreen sheik and for more weather updates do like share and subscribe our channel